Hey guys, this is Carl from TechLingo. In this video, we'll be having a look at the Ambi Climate to see how we can actually improve the comfort of your very own home. Now before we begin with our full review, perhaps it would be better for us to actually go through what uh, the Ambi Climate is all about and what it can actually do. Now this tiny little device can be also known as a smart thermostat. Uh, it has a whole bunch of sensors inbuilt. You have your temperature sensor, your humidity sensor as well as lux sensor um, to actually detect the amount of light in your bedroom or your living room. We all know that real fuel temperature, um, what you actually feel that is comfortable, is dependent on a lot of different factors. Uh, you have things like not only is temperature the main factor, you also have things like humidity level as well as whether there is sunlight. Um, so take for example, you set your air conditioner uh, at 24 degrees uh, at night and it might feel comfortable for you. But when it's in the day, um, when you have sunlight and when humidity is a lot higher, uh, you would feel that the same 24 degrees might feel warm. So the ambient climate aims to solve all of that um, by creating this feedback loop. So if the room is getting a little hotter, uh, it would automatically adjust the aircon um, to a lower temperature. Now with that out of the way, let's go through what we actually like about the Ami Climate after using it for about two weeks now. First up is of course the easy setup process. We were able to pair our Ambi Climate device uh, using the Ambi Climate app uh, within about 10 minutes. And we've also seen that uh, there are a lot of different air conditioner models that are supported in the app. Um, and of course, we're using the Mitsubishi electric uh, air conditioner. And I believe that this model is pretty common around Singapore. So in terms of compatibility wise, uh, you're pretty much covered with the Ambi Climate. Next up, let's talk about the different modes uh, that you can activate on the Ambi Climate app. Now, our favorite one is the comfort mode. Uh, you do not have to enter any temperature settings at all. Uh, you just have to let the app know what you're feeling right now. So if it's a little bit warm, then you just press the button feeling a little bit warm or if it's a little bit cold. So by the user inputting what they actually feel is comfortable over a period of time, um, the Ambi Climate can create a model of what uh, it's actually defined as a comfortable environment for its user. Now, so our overall experience with comfort mode on the Ambi Climate has been rather uh, pleasant. Uh, it was able to maintain a comfortable environment, whether it's at night or in the day. Of course, you can also activate um, different modes. Uh, one of it is actually temperature mode, which uh, if you already know what suits you best, you can actually specify a specific temperature that the Ambi Climate would try its best to maintain uh, the particular room at. Or you also have the away mode, which is pretty cool. Um, let's say you set a threshold of about 25 degrees Celsius. Um, at any point of time, if the room actually gets hotter than that, it would automatically activate your air conditioner and it will turn it on remotely uh, without you having to be present at all. So that the room would always maintain at 25 degrees and below. You of course have your manual mode as well and this works just like your remote control. Now with a smart IoT device like this, you would uh, imagine that there are pretty much uh, a whole bunch of other features that you can implement uh, since uh, the Ambi Climate is already connected to the internet. And of course, uh, one other feature that we found out was geolocation. So uh, without you having to turn on the air conditioner whenever you come back home, the Ambi Climate will automatically do that for you as well as long as you set uh, the location of your current home. Uh, what's also great is that uh, we were able to pair the Ambi Climate with our Google Assistant. So we were able to make voice commands to automatically turn on our air conditioner. Unfortunately, the Google Assistant feature is still rather limited at the moment. Uh, we're only able to turn on or off in manual mode. And um, hopefully in the future, we would see um, more voice commands being implemented on the Ambi Climate with the Google Assistant. One particular drawback that we realized on the Ambi Climate is that every time it sends a signal to your air conditioner, the air conditioner would naturally beep. 
And this is not something that you can easily disable on your air conditioner model. Uh, unfortunately for hours, we weren't able to do so. Um, and what we realized is that throughout the night, when the MB climate is fine tuning the uh, temperature settings of your air conditioner, you will constantly hear beeps throughout the night. So uh, if you're a light sleeper, uh, this might be a heads up for you to actually check first if your current air conditioner model at home, uh, whether or not you're able to turn off that beeping sound. If not, you might rather just stick with manual mode, which will just um, implement one temperature setting to your air conditioner whenever you turn it on or off. In conclusion, the MB climate might need something new uh, to users including myself, uh, but it might turn out to be a product that you actually need. You can now get the Ambi Climate in Singapore stores at about 199 Singapore dollars. Uh, more details in the description below. We hope you have enjoyed our full review of the Ambi Climate. Feel free to leave your questions or suggestions down in the comment section below. And uh, don't forget to like this video if you do and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tech reviews and recommendations right here in Singapore. This is Kyle signing off.